Man, what a crazy race weekend. The race on Sunday got postponed because of snow. Yeah, think of that. I think that's the first time in God knows how fucking long a race got postponed from snow. So we have to race on a Monday along with the truck race. Truck race was pretty good. John Hunter Nemechek gets the win, yeah. I don't know why he's going for Xfinity points on a part-time schedule. He should just run full-time. He should, he should have chosen for the truck series this year. So, okay. Um, but, oh, but, hey, I'm not going to complain about him winning. You know, great finish at the end. He edges out Kyle Benjamin. How about that? Then the cup race. I actually missed part of the cup race because I had to work, but I was able to catch, like, the second half of it. From what I heard, the first half was pretty good. From what I want, and also when I was watching highlights, first half was okay. It was good. You know, there are a lot of different leaders. All right. Different race leaders. Like, yeah, Blaney dominated at one point. Hamlin dominated at one point. And then you have, like, Kyle Busch up there. Truex up there. Like, different drivers leading. The second half was pretty boring. Because Clint Boyer, like, dominates the entire second half of the race. And Clint Boyer gets the win. Clint finally did it. You finally won a race, Clint. Took you five and a half years. But hey, I complain. Finally did it. Mainly a race I only saw four cautions. One for a competition caution, two for the stage break cautions. And then there was one for Spade with Jamie McMurray on lap 384. After Austin Dillon jumped the curb, got loose, and got into McMurray's left rear quarter panel. You know, it's just... Just also didn't want to underestimate the turn, that's all. Nothing to it. You know, there was a lot of good side-by-side -side racing. You know, because it's a goddamn short track. You know, disappointing day for Henrik Motorsports. I know two cars finished in the top 10. And, you know, we had Jimmy Johnson finish 15th and William Byron finish 20th, which is unacceptable for Henrik. Like, this is supposed to be the top team in NASCAR. Like, they should be in, like, all four should be in the top ten. Like, come the fuck on. You know, mainly it's because of the new Chevy Camaro set of one. But I guarantee you by midseason, they'll probably figure this fucker out. But, yeah, Clint Boyer wins. Like, hell, he was even doing the burnout before he even got back to the start-finish line after the race ended. He had a big burnout because, you know, it's Clint's first win in five years. You know, Clint's went through a lot of shit in those last five years, you know. He had the mediocre 2013 season, which capped off with that Richmond 2013 bullshit where he intentionally spun out. And then he pit, went on pit road to try and get Truex in the chase to tell NASCAR team that manipulation and an up screwing Truex out of the chase in 2013 and out of a ride at NWR. Then Truex, then Boyer had two more seasons of mediocrity. Then 2016 came where Clint Boyer spent the season in a goddamn shitmobile for H. Scott. Then 2017 came around when Clint Boyer went in his first year with Stuart Haas. Massively shit the bed. And now Clint Boyer finally wins this year. And Clint's in the chase, how about that? Ford's now won four of the first six. Let's revisit Ford. Kislowski said Ford was going to be dog shit this year because they didn't give Kislowski the changes he wanted. They keep winning. Penalties were handed out to Harvick like candy. They keep winning. We expect them to fall off a cliff. They keep winning. Ford this year is like the Vegas Golden Knights. They are a goddamn cockroach. They will not fucking die. And Kyle Busch once again finished second, so ha 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 ha. Fuck you, Kyle Busch. I don't think Kyle Busch talked to the media again because Kyle's a little bitch. You know what, Kyle? Let me throw some suggestions here. Maybe, maybe if you focus more on your race car and less time 
fucking replying to 50 or 60 hater comments on Twitter, maybe you would have a fucking win or two, you dumb fuck. But then again, Kyle, remember, you can't take criticisms seriously. Because you're a sensitive fucking bitch. Because last week, Kyle Bush ran away from the media like the little bitch he is. And honestly, Kyle, if you're wondering why people don't fucking like you, it's that type of shit, motherfucker. And by the way, Kyle, don't think I forgot what you did to Ron Hornaday in 2011. That's still one of the main reasons why I fucking hate you. When you tried to fucking murder him. Fuck you, Kyle Bush. I hope you go winless this year. You know, it's out. We're off to a good start here. First six of the year, and Kyle Bush is winless. How long would that last, though? Look, I was glad Kyle Bush didn't win a good race for once. Thank Christ. You know, next week for NASCAR is the off week, you know, because Easter weekend, so NASCAR is not back for two weeks until Texas. The trucks are now off till May when they hit the Dover. Xfinity will be back in two weeks, though. Fuck me. You know, if during the off week, during the off week, I'm doing going to do a NASCAR video. I'm going to do a video, a long video addressing NASCAR right now after the first month of the season is over. Mainly addressing why NASCAR is sucking right now, why it's in trouble, and what NASCAR do can to get out of this fucking hole. You know, there's a lot they can do. I'll address it all in that video. I'm also doing a WWE. I'm not no. That, that I'm doing a wrestling vlog this weekend. Also going on a wrestling show in my hometown Sarnia for Smash Wrestling. So yeah, but yeah, that's all I gotta say for this review. Race overall, it was a mad race. Five out of ten. It was not the best Martinsville race I've watched. Like, I was a little bored. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope everyone has a great day, and yeah, peace out.